What's going on guys? Today I want to show you as a manager or supervisor or whatever your position is, if you have the ability to monitor what your shop office is doing and if they're using my AIT workplace or my workplace AIT, I gotta get it right. So if they're using my workplace AIT, you can go in and monitor what they're doing and see how the workflow is going, seeing if they're having any issues and basically make sure that they're doing their their processes properly and it's broken down into a lot of different things but uh, it does give you another tool to monitor what they're doing if you are enforcing them to use my workplace now a lot of a lot of the people I've been talking to still haven't really transitioned to my workplace even though I mean honestly it's so much easier it gives you a much easier workflow but either way we're gonna go over that today but first if this is your first time watching please go down and subscribe give me a thumbs up if you like the video comment if you have any more questions pertaining to this video if you want to see something else please go over to the community or send me a message email uh, carrier pigeon whatever it is that you use for messaging and let me know what you'd like to see uh, if you haven't joined the team please go ahead and consider doing so and uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump into this video all right, so I'm already in my workplace. So the key is just whenever you get into uh, to WinGUI, go to home, go over to my workplace. And then what you're doing is looking right here. So you have the, the drop down options. If you're a manager, you can go in and see what the process monitor is. So you're going to put in your plant, your S loke. And for this one, I'm having to use one that I've recently used when I did the dispatching so that I can show you the process. So you can see here, you have a lot of different options that you can choose from. Uh, but in this case, we're going to choose dispatch and you have a range that you can choose from 24 hours. So the last day or two, uh, last seven days, or you can put in a specific range if you're trying to look for like uh, counseling statements or progress for an NCOER or something of those nature. You have select status. Now I would recommend putting all these, but if you know that they're having issues or if you know that they're not having issues, you can just uh, check that specific one. But in this case, we're going to click all of them. We're going to check the last seven days because I did use this S loke to dispatch for that video. And then we're going to hit execute. And then when it's going to bring you up, it's going to give you a status saying that it's good. Uh, there's an issue or uh, it's in the early stages of warning, whatever it is, it's going to tell you what they did. And then it's going to tell you who did it. So you don't have to worry about looking them up by their personnel number or their DOD ID number. It gives you the name of the person. So that is another benefit to this tool uh, as long as you know what's going on. So let's I don't think that it gives you the option to see. I haven't had any success in it, but we'll we'll go in and try it just for uh, shits and giggles. So let's hit execute. As you can see, no results found. So I know that equipment is being dispatched in this S loc, uh, and it has been within a last seven days but because the process wasn't done within my workplace it's not going to show up here so if they do it in WinGUI it's not going to show here uh, it would all it would be nice if it did but in this case it doesn't so uh, that just shows you how as a manager supervisor uh, AA whoever you are and what your position is to go in and monitor it I mean you may even be able to go in as a just an ERPS clerk just to see what's going on and see your processes and what you've accomplished. So, uh, food for thought. All right, guys, uh, this is kind of a short one. It's kind of like to the point. There's nothing really in depth about it, but it is still a good option, a good tool to use. And again, uh, we we're, we're really trying to push to use in my workplace for processing things like this within your shop office for dispatches, parts, things of that nature. Uh, everybody I've talked to that has used it has enjoyed using it over wing GUI because you're back and forth and here you're just kind of like uh, moving around. I guess you play with it, you tell me. All right, guys, uh, that's all it, all there is for this video. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one.